Alright, ready? Rolling. Alright, take 10. Chris Gethin and Ashley Nordman here. We just finished a chest workout and you did interrupt us when we were talking about back shaving. So luckily you did interrupt us. But we went through a real good chest workout. Thoroughly enjoyed yourself, didn't you? Yeah, it was great. Packs like me now. No, no. You need to do that more <laughs> often then. So we need to have a few more sessions in there. But just to talk you through the workout because it was too noisy in there for us to talk so we're actually giving you VO now. We started off with an isolation exercise which is a chest ac activation movement that Ben Pakulski taught me when I was in uh, Tampa there where you go very light on a standing cable crossover machine with your arms kind of parallel and we kind of squeeze together and we pretended that these parts of the arms, the forearms, didn't even exist and we were trying to get the inside of the arms to actually touch each other and you go very light on this movement and what this does is really activate the muscle fibers that recruits all the muscle fibers so you can pre-fatigue the area so the following exercises that we uh, perform later we don't have to go at such a heavy weight and we were doing some pretty light weights weren't we kind of you yeah. weren't but i was <laughs> all right okay well, you should have gone the other way around <laughs> but it it it's a lot lighter than what you would normally do so you take the stress and load off the joints and place it a little bit more, more into the muscle so we did what do we do three sets of that wasn't it of around 20 repetitions i'd say so yeah three yeah. or four sets maybe it's about 15 but it sounds better if we say 20. Yeah. i started with 20 but then i got really tired so i'm pretty sure it was down to like 12 or 15. yeah we were playing the ego game i think we kept on racking up the weight and yeah. going heavier and heavier mm -hmm. but we kept it controlled and following that we went from an in onto an incline bench and we put that within the cable crossover machine and we actually performed a cable press there now when you're performing this if you're looking at the video right now you'll see that both of our arms are shaking quite a bit and that's normal this is an exercise that neither of us are really used to and especially as you're going heavier you will get a little bit of movement uh, so you have to be, caref be careful that you keep your arms tight so you don't put too much stress upon like the rotator cuffs and make sure that you keep your pecs stuck out your shoulder blades retracted so you get more pec involvement and less delt and tricep involvement and again what did we do three sets of that of around I don't know 15 20 reps mm -hmm. or something like that yep. always keeping the volume relatively high we want to keep putting the blood into the muscle recruiting the type 1 and type 2 muscle fibers and really stretching that fascia so we can get that good contraction so after that we did three sets of the incline press on the machine it was a machine that I hadn't really come across so whenever you go to a gym and you see a new machine it kind of entices you into it and you want to abuse it so that's <laughs> what we did for three sets we abused that son of a bitch but it felt good uh, didn't we? Yeah. Well, I did. And then following that, we went to we went to the push-ups then, didn't we? Did we go to the push-ups? Yeah, yeah, we went to the push-ups. Yep, we did. So we got a couple of beautiful Reebok steps from our earlier class, the Reebok pump class, and uh, then we did uh, push-ups at a deficit. So what, what I mean by a deficit, we had our hands placed upon the, the steps, so we had to travel another good two or three inches than you normally would however my chest is that big it just didn't feel like a deficit at all before i knew it my saggy boobs were touching the floor <laughs> and then i pushed back up to laugh yeah, it's true <laughs> you didn't have that problem then it's just me so it happens as you get a little bit older uh gravity takes over and so we paused at the bottom there for about a two second count and then exploded up and with the chest muscle uh, particularly same as legs i feel that this is a muscle that requires explosive movement. You know, you think about it, you, you naturally punch with these muscles and it, it requires a lot more of an explosive action for it to recruit. That's what I think anyway, Absolutely. works for me. And uh, so we did that, we paused at the bottom, pushed at the top, and uh, again, what did we do about 10 repetitions? And then when we couldn't do any more, we dropped to our knees and then, uh, and then we just went to absolute failure. Failure meaning just could not do another rep even if our lives depended on it. The final exercise that we did was on a sideways machine but I noticed that with the, the front like support was at a bit of an incline so decided to actually flip that around and become very creative and use that as like an incline fly movement and I was really impressed with myself. I uh, would have never thought of that ever. <laughs> nah, see? That's what genius. I'm for. Yeah, genius. genius. Right so I'm full of these great ideas in the gym. As soon as I come outside, it just falls to the floor. 
Uh, so I, that's why I spend most of my time in the gym. But it's good, we got three sets out of that. It's a great way to finish off, you know, got a good pump out of it. And uh, I feel that we got a really good chest workout. Definitely well. did. Any added benefits that you thought from doing a workout like that? I just really liked how you focused, or you had me focus a lot on being really explosive. Like I felt like that really made it 10 times harder, like especially with the cables, when you would have me explode up and then slowly go down, it just makes you concentrate a lot harder. So it was nice to have that reminder to just, instead of just thinking of getting the next rep in, like really focusing on every single rep that you're doing and doing it with a purpose. Do you know what we say around these parts? What? We don't count the reps, we make the reps count. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and there was a bit of variety in there as well, that we weren't just sticking to the machines or yeah. the, the, body the barbells. Yeah, good. we did body weight, mm -hmm. yeah. So we flipped things up a little bit, you know? Yeah, it was definitely nice to like not go in there and think, okay, I need to do this machine, this machine, this machine. It was just nice to really like completely change it up and shock the body. Yeah, cool. Good workout. I'll be yeah. nice and sore tomorrow. <laughs> That's how it's supposed to be, isn't it? You know? Yeah, it's fighting me. It was awesome to no, catch back up with you guys. Thank you very much for coming in. I appreciate it. Yeah, Give it up. <laughs> thank you. Hey guys, so if you like this video, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe to our channel. <laughs>